love the hundred acre wood. <laughs> the boys are back in town. So, Sora, did anything back there help you remember your friend's name? Uh, her name's the only thing I can't seem to remember. Probably because she's not real. I just want a a showing of Donald like <laughs> misheard lyrics, Donald Duck. I I I do not hear what he says. Oh my god. Don't like the looks of this place. Ah. I love Halloween though. I loved this world in the first game. It was so fantastic. Makes me so happy. Not even real ghosts can frighten us anymore. In before he gets spooked. <laughs> they do look really great, though. I loved the Halloween designs, and it looks it looks fantastic. I'm so excited. I mean, the quality of this is, like, slightly less because it was on a handheld game, but still great. Halloween Town! <laughs> did I call that or did I call that? So they don't remember Jack. Okay. Oh my god, if you're that easy to scare, we're gonna have a great time. I'm also that easy to scare, although Nightmare Before Christmas, surprisingly, does not really spook me. Oh. So they don't remember Jack? They don't seem to recognize him. Interesting. Curious. If you're looking for a ghoulishly good time, you've come to the right place. Yay! We aren't! <laughs> Oh my gosh. At the moment, we've got a bit of a problem in Halloween Town. Every time he says Halloween Town, I just think of Halloween Town High, which is a not really great straight to TV Disney movie. <laughs> and by not really great, I mean the best thing I've ever seen. The Heartless. It, it doesn't surprise me that the Heartless are here. You call you go and call the heartless. So, ooh. They're just here when you were uh they just knew when you were going to show up. In fact, I'd love to get rid of them. Interesting. So, were they not here the whole time? Why are they here? I wonder if he knows. Okay, so he doesn't know. I don't remember. This wasn't the same mystery we were solving in the first one, was it? Like why the heartless were there? No. I don't remember. <laughs> it has something to do with returning a heart, right? In the first one? I think that's what it was. I don't like this, Donald. When do you like anything? If he's leading us right to the heartless, he's... <laughs> oh. That was very scary, Jack. Allow me to introduce Dr. Finkelstein. Finkelstein? Stein? Steen? Stern? Stern? Steen? Oh, I've created, I've created something horrible. Wait, did he create the Heartless? No. He did not create the Heartless, I don't think. The power of true memories. Oh, more memory talk. Okay, interesting. Okay. Our hearts are full of memories. Our hearts are? Not how memories work. Not all of them reflect the truth. The heart isn't a recording device. Interesting. Okay, even important memories change with time. I wonder if we're gonna start to unpack like the who this lady is. Warper Fade leaving us with a shadow. Maybe it's what's happening to you, Sora. Some memories grow ugly and become more beautiful. Interesting. Probably be seem completely different. Yeah, that makes sense. Forget me nuts. Oh, I hope it's actually from the flower. Oh, that's adorable. Things like that. That's why Night Before Christmas was such a success, I think. All right, as soon as the doctor got a whiff of that potion, interesting. Like a failed experiment. My research is flawless. 
All right, we don't need to give the doctor an existential crisis here. <laughs> It's vanished. Ew. Okay. I wasn't expecting him to touch his head like that. Would be like, give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh my god. Must have been Sally. Wait, why do you assume Sally is a thief? Leave it to me! Can I tag along? Yeah, I guess why not? These true memories. I also want to know more about that. Let's go find Sally. Perfect. Because Sally's a thief? I don't know. We're going with it. Thought I'd find you here. Hanging out in the graveyard. Oh, we're just like, who are, who are we? Just no one. Just, you know. Just a, a scarecrow, a mummy, and a whatever Sora is. <laughs> oh, she did steal it. Oh. Why would she steal that? She's not... Okay. She's not... A... I don't know. All the doctor did was smell it and the heartless appeared. That's why she stole it. I like that she's just like, okay, you stole this thing because you were with like a very vague motivation. And then we ask for it back, and you're just like, I guess so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't there another option? I honestly, like, I'm with you, Sally, on this. Like, if that's what you think is causing the Heartless. I don't actually think that's what's causing the Heartless, though. Although it might be. If it's supposed to return memories. And, like, there are memories of the Heartless. I don't know. This memory thing is kind of confusing. The potion! Oogie! <laughs> you again. Oogie makes it sound like it's like a pet name. Oh, Oogie! Like we're in a 90s sitcom. Oh, Oogie! <laughs> I can't do the Oogie Boogie Man's voice at all. Oh my god. What would happen if I chugged the whole thing? It's not like that. That's not what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, you can't hold a candle to Oogie bo Oogie Boogie. <laughs> You can't, like, his name in writing is just not scary. Like, Oogie Boogie Man? Actually, not even a really a scary name, if you think about it. But, like, he looks pretty horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Sack of Bugs? Pretty scary. There they go. Oh. This was one actually one of my favorite battles in the first one. Um, I really liked, like, how it was laid out. It wasn't, it wasn't too terrible, but it wasn't, like, so easy that I just felt like I was, like, spamming attacks the entire time. I liked that there was, like, kind of a puzzle element to it. Um, so. That's, you're, apparently you're getting a review of my experience with the first game as I watch through this game. <laughs> this is maybe bad? Lip snacking? You don't even have lips! Oh, it's tummy when I'm all rumbly. Something deep inside me. Something scary. I can't do his voice. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll stop trying. Oh my god. Oh no, is he actually, like, scared though? Confound that oogie boogie. <laughs> he drank nearly all of my precious potion. There's only a few drops left. That's not so good. It gave a big tummy ache though. That's the doc if you can drink the rest. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a better that's a better idea. Don't you want it? Too bad. <laughs> Would have been a great experiment. Wait, who's he talking to? Me? Uh, Sora? If he's talking to Sora, the answer is yes. Yeah, I do. We do want to try out our new Yeah. Now more than ever. Wait, why now more than ever? I promised him I'd find the truth on my own. Oh, okay. When I inhaled the potion, Heartless appeared. When Oogie Boogie drank it, he was overcome with fear. What could it mean? That is curious. Why was he afraid? 
I mean, suppose she was a failure. Sally's savage. Sally's over there like, it just means that you're a terrible scientist. Oh my god, true memories must unbalance the heart and cause unpredictable changes within. That's not horrifying at all. What happens when my true memories awaken? Um, a blonde girl appears and replaces Kyrie, and the world is turned upside down. Apparently. It's all just but a hypothesis. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes. Uh, does the doctor's theory scare? I mean, a little bit. We basically watched Doki Boogie Man, like, become poisoned from within. And it tainted his brain and his memories and, like, it wasn't good. Oh my god. Fear and doubt are signs of a strong heart. They push your heart, strike out in new directions, take chances! Oh my god, your zest of life might fade without them, as would your taste for fear. That would really ruin my fun, Jack. Oh, well, we can't have that, Jack. Oh my gosh, maybe you always enjoy being frightened. <gasps> oh, so this is the first time they're meeting. I don't know who this is. I mean, I know her name, but like, that's it. Yeah, that would be my reaction too. Too clever. I'm Larxene. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories and awaken your true memories. <laughs> so this is the second time we've heard this true memories in our heart. Although, it seems that you're still forgetting the most important thing here. When that poor girl hears that you've forgotten her name, why, it'll just... It'll that seals it for me. That seals it for me. She's made up. Poor girl. Do you know her? <laughs> She's made up. Is she... here? Yes, she I'm calling is. it now. I'm just calling it now. So that... The bad guys are holding her captive. Somewhere deep inside the castle. And you obviously are the hero, so you have to go save her. Although. Oh no! Oh no, oh no. I'm a bad guy, so you have to go through me. Sora! <laughs> I'm a bad guy. Is that what oh, a shame! No. You've been wearing it all this time and forgot? No, that's not possible. The memory has to be engraved somewhere deep inside your heart. Sora, you think carefully now. What, oh what, could it be? And who gave it to you? Was that on him? No. Sora, you're getting it now. Release the memory from within your heart. I'm so confused. Naname. Naname. Well, it's who is time. that? That's right, Naname. Yes, she's the one that gave you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Talk about heartless. I can't believe you. It'd serve you right if I decided to smash this piece of junk. Let it go. Well, now he seems to care about it. So, like, I care about it and she's a big bully. Dominate gave me this. It's very important to me. <laughs> It's a little hard to, like, get invested in this. Whoa! Okay, those are badass. <laughs> I'm with her, though. Ten seconds ago, you didn't even know what it was. It makes it a little hard to be emotionally invested, honestly. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who asked you? 
Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. Yeah, but like a cute and baby? if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. I created another card from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. Ta-ta. Wait, Larkseen! So, I'm intrigued by a couple of things. Like, she and Axel are, like, together but not working together because Where Axel is something else. Don't you dare hide from me! Show yourself! I think they're planting this memory on Sora and also that keychain thing? Sora, calm down. She's not coming back. But like to what end? Who is Namine? I hate this. No. Why did I need someone like that to bring back Namine's memory? It's a very fitting question, Sora. So they're like maybe working together? I I don't I can't tell. Throwing. It looked to me like you just plain lost. Ooh. How dare you? You don't appreciate the nuances of an engaged effort. Oh. Vexen. There's a third one? How could you be humbled by someone of such limited significance? You shame the organization. How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. Top side. You obviously <laughs> believe that Sora has much potential. But I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. Hmm. Well, here we go again. It's just an excuse so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can Has do he been experimenting want, on his face? It's you know, freaky. I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? He's the product of pure research. <laughs> what he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Mm. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. A very good show. Who dat? That looked like Riku. Like Riku's boots, maybe? They don't know who Nominee is! <laughs> Sora sure does seem like he's upset. Good point. I mean, I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that. That's fair. But we like, we have no emotional investment in her. <laughs> I love the Hundred Acre Wood. This is one of my favorite areas in the first game. I am sad that I didn't spend more time there. Although, I do think this might be, have been the card that they gave to Vexen, right? I think. Looking for my friends. Are they around here? Looks like nobody's here. Oh. Then perhaps I'm looking for nobody. I'm trying to do Pooh Bear's voice. I'm not very good at voices, but willing to try. I suppose I must be, but then they don't seem to be here. And all this searching is making my tummy rumble. Hmm. I wonder if there's any honey about... <laughs> I shall first have to stop searching. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! I hope you guys enjoy my Pooh Bear voice. It's my very, it's the very best I can do. Oh my gosh. Oh, searching for friends might be around here. Let's find them together. Are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. Are they your friends who know my friends? <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry, you're too cute. Wait, is he looking for Naminé right now? He's not concerned about where Goofy and Donald are? Oh my gosh, alright, well, why don't we look for them together? I'd like that, Sora. 
Huh? Piglet! Piglet, you're the most cute! I... Okay, so I love Eeyore the very most of all of the Winnie the Pooh characters. I grew up collecting Eeyore, like, stuffed animals and figurines and things like that, but I actually heard a really interesting theory. It's not very well founded, but it's an interesting theory that the characters in Winnie the Pooh are actually like representative of different mental health disorders. Um, so, so like Piglet, for instance, is anxiety. So I feel very akin to Piglet. Uh, Eeyore is depression and I think it was Rabbit was OCD maybe, obsessive compulsive disorder. I can't remember all of them. I think Kanga and Rue were meant to be codependency. Um, some of them are very loosely kind of tied in, but I feel like Piglet and Eeyore are pretty clearly like anxiety and depression. And like I said, it's not very well founded, but it was an interesting theory and it made me have a whole different appreciation for Piglet that I I will cherish forever. This whole exchange is me, by the way. Do I want to come? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it, Piglet. Oh, it's at Rabbit's house! Watch out! <laughs> oh no, Pooh! <gasps> Pooh, are you okay? <laughs> that was close. Are you okay, Pooh? Wait, it wasn't close. He just got hit by it. <laughs> it wasn't close. He fully, he got full on hit. Where did it come from? I'm gonna guess Tigger. Oh, it's Rabbit! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought for sure it was going to have been, like, Tigger getting into trouble at Rabbit's house. What do I know? Apparently. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you're here. You can help me sort my vegetables for my garden. That sounds so delightful. Man, I'm bummed. I'm. A, this is, like, the, the only part that I've ever, that I've been bummed that I'm not playing this game. I just really love mini games, and I really loved the Hundred Acre Wood in the first one. But that's okay. It's okay. It's nice that I at least get to watch all of the scenery and see all of our friends. Balloons! I wonder what these balloons are for. Look, I made it all the way up here. Okay, so we, there must have been another mini game where you'd like use the balloons to climb. There was kind of a mini game like that. You had to like guide Poo around the bees, right? You could use a balloon to look for your friends. You might think so, young man, but serious problems arise when you arrive at your destination, huh? Do you know about a battle I don't know about? Is Vex in here? Oh, you just mean, okay. The wind doesn't always, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. And find them just to be, uh, just not be able to reach them. That would be really sad to, like, be able to see them and be like, oh, I can't ever talk to them. <laughs> At least you'd know that they were okay, though. So it would, uh, you know, abate some anxieties that you might have. I don't know. That's a curious thing. Like, would you want to be able to never find them or find them but not be able to reach them? I feel like finding but not being able to reach them would be okay. For me, anyway. Because at least I would know that they were okay, right? Anyway. I love the music here. Tigger! T-I double gut -er. He's gonna say it at least once, right? Hoo 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 hoo! <laughs> How would you like to bounce with me? I'm doing my best. Not bad at all. We're just trying to bounce like you, Tigger. I'm surprised you could keep up with me. Oh, Tigger. You're not all that tough. <laughs> I can bounce with the best of them too now. Oh my god, then let's see you do this.
<laughs> oh my gosh, to have a fraction of that energy, I just... What do you think of that? It was very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bouncing is best when you do it your own way. Oh, Tigger. Oh my gosh, because I'm Tigger and you're Sora. Oh my heart. <laughs> Tigger, why are you so wholesome? Just be who you want to be. Oh, Tigger dropped something. Is it for us? Is it a new card? Have the tree when I was bouncing. You can have it, Sora. Kind of weighs me down when I'm bouncing. <laughs> bouncing. We must be getting a bunch of skills in this area. Um, so hopefully they're useful <laughs> for later. Awfully, awfully blustery hole. <laughs> okay, so they went over to the hole, apparently. Oh, it's Kanga! Oh, it's Rue. I'm sorry, I'm a doofus. What are you doing here? I was so busy looking for Tigger. Because they're friends. I was blown away by the wind and I fell down here. Oh, Little guy. And you got stuck? No. <laughs> I was waiting for... No. I was fine. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute, though. And this is where I'll be. Oh, my gosh. It would surprise Tigger, yes. What if he doesn't fall here? If Tigger rides the wind, his bounce is my bounce him even further away. Oh. I was getting a little lonely and tired of waiting for him. Yeah, go find him. Exactly. That's a great idea. Aw. Be friends. Because they like bouncing together. Ah, I found this in the shrubs. Why don't you take it? More skills. I lost my tail. It's you. <laughs> You're high. Hi. Oh my gosh. Do you know where you lost it? Oh, yum. I f yum? I knew if I just listened to my tummy, I would find the oh some honey. <laughs> I want to say yummy found the tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pooh Bear! Oh, hey, look! Oh, bother! Oh, his head. <laughs> Poor guy. Much obliged, Pooh. I'm sure I'm obliged to you too, Eeyore, but um, for what? For running into that tree and getting my tail back. <laughs> uh, you helped me. Thanks. <laughs> it's an accident that we found your tail. Oh, that's fair. An accident. It figures only oh, Eeyore, my heart. Nobody would help me on purpose, my heart. You are, I love you, and I would absolutely help you on purpose. Oh my gosh, you are so giving, so sweet. <sighs> oh, this fell down along with my tail. It's like I don't want it. The accidental part of my thank you. <laughs> I guess we can't go any further. Wasn't it more fun looking for friends together? Yes. Oh. Like you to have this. Thank you for helping me. Is it honey? I walked so far. I think I need a little rest. Pooh bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. If only I had a honey pot to keep me company. <laughs> it better be going. <laughs> it's just like I. Got, well, okay. About that. I gotta go. Yeah, I suppose we, like, we never did find Donald or Goofy, right? Oh my gosh. You should stay here. You mean, this is goodbye? Oh. Oh. No, it's not goodbye forever. If I don't forget, yeah, I suppose. I'll remember if I don't forget. I got all these 
for forgetting's happening. You can count on me. Even if you forget Winnie the Pooh, I won't forget you. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my Pooh voice. I'm going to stop doing it now. <laughs> Riku. 